Recent news out of the Pentagon marks a major turning point in U.S. military power projection. The U.S. Army's first hypersonic missile battery, known as Dark Eagle, is finally set to be fully equipped by December. After years of testing delays, setbacks, and breakthroughs, America's ground forces are about to field a weapon that can hit targets more than 1,700 miles away in minutes, not hours. This marks the first time the U.S. Army will have an operational hypersonic strike capability, one designed to fly at blistering speeds beyond Mach 5, maneuver unpredictably, and strike before an enemy even knows it's coming. But what exactly is Dark Eagle? How did we get here? And how does it stack up against the hypersonic arsenals of China, Russia, and the rest of the world? Let's break it all down. The U.S. Army has been chasing hypersonic capability for years. Back in 2021, the 1st Multi-Domain Task Force, that's the 5th Battalion 3rd Field Artillery Regiment under the 17th Field Artillery Brigade at Joint Base lewis McCord, got the first major pieces of the system. They received the launchers, command trucks, and trailers, but not the actual live rounds. The full missile package, officially known as the Long Range Hypersonic Weapon, or LRHW, was supposed to arrive in 2023, but several test launches were aborted, not because the missile failed, but because of issues at the range and problems during pre-launch sequences. Those delays pushed the whole fielding schedule back nearly two years. Now, as of late 2025, the unit has already received three of the missiles, with the rest, about eight more, expected to arrive by the end of December. Once that happens, the Army's first hypersonic battery will finally be fully loaded. Major General Frank Lozano, the Army's Program Executive Officer for Missiles in Space, confirmed that this will complete the basic load for Battery 1. After that, the Army plans to move straight into building Battery 2. The plan also includes a new missile test around that same time frame, a critical step to validate the system under operational conditions. So what is Dark Eagle really? It's not your typical missile. The long-range hypersonic weapon is a boost glide system. That means it's launched by a two-stage solid field booster that propels a common hypersonic glide body, or CHGB, to high altitudes and extreme speeds. Once that glide vehicle separates, it maneuvers toward its target at speeds well above Mach 5, sometimes even higher depending on flight profile and altitude. Some reports suggest the glide body has reached peaks close to Mach 17 in certain tests, while official sustained combat speeds are classified. What's clear is that this thing travels fast enough to outfly traditional intercept systems. At that pace, it can cover roughly 1,700 miles, that's about 2,775 kilometers, in under 15 minutes. It gives U.S. commanders the ability to strike high-value targets deep within contested regions without relying on naval or air platforms. The system itself is being developed jointly by the Army and Navy. Lockheed Martin is serving as the main integrator, while Dynetics builds the glide body under a long-term contract with Lidos. That's an important detail, because before this program, the American private sector had never actually produced a hypersonic glide weapon. This is the first generation of a domestic industrial base for hypersonic technology, and it's being built from scratch. Now, the road hasn't been easy. A lot of folks like to point out the delays, but in fairness, missile programs typically take around 10 years to reach full maturity. Dark Eagle is only just past the five-year mark. That's pretty fast, especially when you consider that this is an entirely new class of weapon. As Lozano put it, just the nature of going so fast, if you were doing a typical 10 or 15 year missile program, you'd drive all this risk out. You'd just be delivering 10 years from now. Instead, the Army chose to accelerate development, and with that comes a steep learning curve. Engineers are still working through how to take a complex prototype and transition it into repeatable production. Every missile built helps refine the process reduce defects, and tighten tolerances. It's very much a learn-as-you-build operation, and that's exactly how cutting-edge systems evolve. So what's the price tag on this hypersonic powerhouse? According to a 2023 Congressional Budget Office estimate, each missile costs around $41 million. 
though updated army figures suggest the real cost might be even higher, especially for the early batches. That's not cheap, but cost per unit tends to drop once production scales up. For now though, we're talking about limited magazine depth, a small number of missiles with huge power, but limited supply. Still, the strategic value outweighs the price tag. Dark Eagle gives the army a true theater scale strike weapon, capable of hitting time sensitive, high value targets faster than anything in the current inventory. But the US isn't alone in this race. China and Russia have been testing and deploying hypersonic systems for years, and both are watching Dark Eagle closely. China's DF-17 missile, equipped with the DFZF glide vehicle, is believed to cruise between Mach 5 and Mach 10. It's road mobile and already operational. Russia's avant-garde system, which sits on top of an ICBM, can reportedly reach up to Mach 20, though its practical combat use is still debated. Then there's the Zircon, a sea-launched missile said to hit Mach 8 or 9, and the Kinjal, an air-launched ballistic weapon that Russia claims can reach Mach 10. Outside those major powers, the race is spreading. India is working on multiple hypersonic systems, including the BrahMos-2 and the K6SBLM, both designed for Mach 7 plus speeds. South Korea is developing the Hi-Core, targeting Mach 6. Japan's got the HVGP, Australia is co-developing Sci-Fi with US, and France is testing the VMAX demonstrator. Even Iran and Israel are now entering the conversation, though with varying degrees of credibility and verification. This global sprint for hypersonic dominance is reshaping deterrence as we know it. Speed and maneuverabilities shrink decision windows, making traditional missile defense systems and even early warning networks struggle to keep up. So what does Dark Eagle actually mean for the US? In short, it's a shift from concept to reality. It gives the US Army a mobile, ground-based strike option that can reach across entire regions, fast enough to neutralize time-critical threats and maneuverable enough to evade enemy defenses. But there's a flip side. Hypersonic weapons are destabilizing by nature. They compress the decision timeline in crisis situations and make miscalculation more likely. Russia has already warned that forward deploying such systems could be seen as a direct provocation. So the question becomes, can hypersonic deterrence coexist with global stability? That's the balance military planners now have to navigate. As of now, Dark Eagle stands as a symbol of America's determination to reclaim leadership in hypersonic technology. From prototype to fielded system, it's been a rocky road, but one that marks a new era for the Army. By the end of this year, the first fully equipped hypersonic battery will be operational, and with that, the countdown to the next phase of global missile competition has already begun. Because in modern warfare, seconds matter, and Dark Eagle is built to win them.